appreciate yeah, you coming no down problem. and no talking problem. to me. No problem. Oh, they just they want to know what the connection with BOPSA and LNL. And LNL is a member of BOPSA. Evidently, uh, Rhonda's husband has been arrested. He's still under investigation. Is that a dumb thing he did if he did that? I mean, huh? Right here. That was that was dumb if he did do that. I mean, that don't make any sense. I didn't know he was that kind of street. Now, I was just at the police department interviewing them, and they actually mentioned that your husband is a suspect. What, what do you think about that? I think it's, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. That's what I think. Is there anything you have to say about? No, I'm not going to say anything. If my husband is a suspect in a crime, who is a person who's never been arrested, never even been in a police car, of course I don't have anything to say about anything like that. I mean, that's very serious. That's very serious. And I would, you know, of course I don't have anything to say about that. Members of BOPSA visit Ebony Beauty Supply. Did you say you cannot open business pizza? No, I didn't say that. No, 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 no. no. I didn't say that. No, I did not say that. Okay, whatever. No problem, no problem. No, but I didn't think you were gonna come right here, you know, because my friend was over there, and then he moved over here, and then now he's over there by uh, Food for Less. Stress, huh? you know, how much stress? Oh. November 1st, you know, yeah. three times, three times yeah. to stay on the fire yeah. inside. Yeah, but I really, I didn't know anything about it. I really didn't know anything about it until I came over here and saw you. What you guys, need, when things calm down a little bit, okay, we'll right. talk, okay, okay, because it's not worth it. Right. When you agree? When you agree? When you agree? Don't give me a head. Okay. Give me a head shake, Rick. Come on, you do better than that. Bobsa creates a forum to discuss the challenges of owning black owned beauty supply stores here in the United States. One of the key factors that we've missed out on is our consumer base. We got to get our people to consciously <laughs> turn and focus in on what is needed for our economic revitalization. I remember that I can make as much money as, with as many products as I can make and it never went through anybody but black hands. It went from to black distributors to black salons to black, to the, to black clients, you know, and, I'm, and I never yet to even see an outside dollar and was happy with it. Now, if I don't sell to Koreans, you know, you know, my kids not going to college. And if we had more black distributors, more black beauty supply houses, that would, that would solve a big portion of it. Yes, we can. Make a difference. Make a difference. Later on that evening, Bobsa has its annual unity dinner. Why we stand? Why we stand? Divided we fall. Divided we fall. We are united. I thank you and consider the Black Dogs Connector. But is unity enough? Where are the rap stars, entertainers, and sports figures? Why haven't they stepped to the plate and delivered economic assistance to the disenfranchised black neighborhoods of America? Will they see the opportunity in the black hair business for microeconomic development to help African Americans and keep the dollar in their neighborhoods?